to Mimi's Kitchen on this beautiful day in Anderson, South Carolina. But you know what? This sunshine is making me wish I was really on the coast of South Carolina. <laughs> so with that in mind, what I'm going to make today is seafood bisque. Y'all, it is so easy. Of course, I say that about everything. But anyway, it really is. <laughs> In Sunday Lunch at Mimi's on page 133 is the recipe. And so let me show y'all what we're going to need for this. So KK, come on over here, let's show them. Okay, what we're going to need is a quart of whipping cream, a quart of half and half, a pound of crab meat, a can of cream of celery soup, a can of cream of mushroom, and 12 ounces, and I'm using the cooked frozen shrimp today. Y'all be sure you get the tail off, because now these come with the tail on too, so, but that would be a mess if you got that. <laughs> and then, of course, a stick of butter. <laughs> so, we're going to get all of this. You just kind of add the ingredients. The only thing that you have to do, we're going to put the shrimp in the food processor. Now, if you don't have a food processor, you just get you a little chopper and just chop your shrimp up and just chop them as fine as you can because you want that texture in your soup bisque. Excuse me. Okay. All right, KK. So, I'll tell you. So that y'all won't have to endure all this noise, we're going to go ahead and do these shrimp. So, we'll be right back. Oops, y'all, I forgot. You'll need two tablespoons of seafood seasoning, and I use Obey. I know y'all will go faint today, but y'all, we're not going to use the oven again. <laughs> so, here's what we do. We put one quart of this whipping cream in here. Y'all, use your large pot so you have room to stir oh my all right and then one quart of half and half oh you talk about rich now i want to caution you about one thing do not boil this you want it hot but you don't want to boil it so y'all every time i think about saying boil it that's boil <laughs> for everybody's lingo. My sister lived in Wyoming and she gave somebody a recipe and she said, you put all that together and then you boil it. And the lady, that was a long silence and she said, you boil it, you boil it? She said, how do you boil it? Christine said, well, you turn the eye on and, and you let it get hot and then let it come to a boil. She said, oh, you mean Boil it. <laughs> she was like, whatever. <laughs> okay, happy dance. Stick a butter. And y'all, now we're not gonna put this on high because we don't want it to scorch. So on my stove, it's on a six, which would be about medium high. So we'll let it slowly heat up so that we don't have all that scorch part on the bottom. So we'll just, what we'll do is we'll let this heat until the butter melts. And then we'll be right back. Now we're going to add our soup. And it doesn't matter what order you add them in, y'all. That's our cream of celery. And now here's our cream of mushroom. So we just put those in there. And y'all, our butter has almost melted. So, let's get these in here. And then we're just going to stir this until they are combined. All right, this is good and hot, y'all. So, what we're going to do is we're going to spoon our shrimp and our crab meat in there. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. y'all, I'm going to tell you, this is one of y'all better be making this, mm -hmm. it is so good, 
All right. Let's stir them up here and let all this stuff get well acquainted. <laughs> oh, mercy. Oh, Kayleen, that smells so good. Yes, it does. Wow. Okay, now if you will notice in the instructions, it tells you if this is still kind of thin, you want it more um, kind of a thick texture. So just watch it. And as it cooks, see, that's still a little bit thin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little cornstarch in it. And what I'll do is I will take the cornstarch and put in a little bit of water and then add it to this and thicken it up. And then we'll put our seasoning in it. Oh, y'all, this smells so good. It sure makes me think of the coast. Now, what I did, that was about two tablespoons of cornstarch and about a fourth of a cup of water, just enough to dilute it so that when you put it in there, it doesn't lump all up. So we'll just let that get hot there together because that cornstarch will thicken as it sits in there. So I don't want to put too much. If you do happen to put too much, then just put a little bit more milk in it. <laughs> just, just whatever, adjust it. Oh, y'all. I need to be sitting on the dock. <laughs> wow. All right, we need to add two tablespoons of seafood seasoning. And y'all, I turned my heat down a little bit because it was beginning to kind of bubble a little bit and we don't want it to do that, so. All right, let's stir in this seafood seasoning. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take it off there. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh y'all. This has the smell of the coast. A smell that I just love. Wasn't that easy? Voila, y'all is ready. So we gonna let this stand for just a few minutes and then we'll serve some up and let you see it. Okay. Earlier today, we posted a little video showing y'all what goes on around this house on a Sunday when we have everybody here. The children out in the yard, the food all out. And so one person commented and said, you must be Wonder Woman. And I thought, well, no, I'm not actually Wonder Woman. And then I got to thinking, I'm gonna tell you what Wonder Woman is. That's when you go out in the boat and all you've been crabbing all day, you know, half the day, you come home and you're getting ready to try to dock the boat. The wind is blowing and you're coming in against the tide and your daddy is standing there on the dock like this, <laughs> watching every single move you make, seeing if you go hit the dock. Now, KK and Katrina can attest to this, for sure. They're usually the one driving the boat. <laughs> So, oh, it just brings back just wonderful memories of the coast, y'all. It is just so wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, I hope you try to make this soup. When I made this, right after I first started making my videos, I had a comment from um, somebody that owns a restaurant, and they said, I have been looking for a good seafood bisque recipe. I think I found it. <laughs> so you may be eating this somewhere. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Y'all, thank you for being my friend. Oh, it's just been just such a joy to get to know you, to read all your comments. And y'all, the notes that I get in the, in the mail, the gifts you send. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, it's endless. I love you all. I hope you have a good rest of the week. Enjoy this beautiful weather with your family. And everybody remember, shine for Jesus.